This is the dusty hoarder unit. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Check this out. Of this trunk, are you ready? I mean, this has been kind of like one of the reasons I bought it. That is so cool. Why do I, I get so excited about this stuff? This one, not so much. That's not fixable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is that? That's jewelry right there. What the heck? Now that is something. Please be in here. This thing wrapped up in paper, but look at this. Heck yes. A mysterious locker long forgotten about, covered in dust and spider webs. A man on a quest for adventure buys it at auction for $1,700, hoping to find treasure. What comes next? Stay tuned right here on Locker Nuts. All right, what is up Locker Nuts? We are at this unit right here. This is the dusty hoarder unit that I bought seven weeks ago. I really got kind of distracted. I bought those seven units and then last week we bought two units. I've had a lot of units come up. This one got kind of postponed, ignored, neglected, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure you can understand why, because if you watch the earlier videos, this one's been kind of a disaster. It's been super dirty, super junky. Although it has produced a few treasures, okay, it has. For the most part, no, it hasn't. <laughs> so anyways, I spent a lot of money on this one. I think it was 1,700 plus fees, so it wound up being like 2,100 bucks. And then I don't even want to say what I spent on storage. It's not that much money. It's $250 a month. Basically, I've rented it for two months. Renew is coming up I got to get this thing out also we've got our big vintage flea market coming up on Sunday this is Friday and I know this has some uh, items in here that I want to bring out last time I brought a few items out and they actually did pretty well so I'm hoping to pull some of the stuff out that I've already discovered and who knows maybe find a little bit more treasures right now today are you ready let's get started so stubborn Okay, last time we were here, it's kind of funny. Last time was right before the last vintage market, so it's been a month. And so what I did is I threw some items in here, including the shelf, a little bit of wood, a lot of boxes. Those came out of different lockers. So uh, anyways, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to clear that out. A lot of empties on top, so you can't really see that much. But we still do have all of this right here to go through. I don't have super high hopes. We have to go through this. And the back row is still, for, for the most part, untapped. You do see couches up there. There's not going to be any like great finds there unless they stuff some cash in there. Again, I'm not getting my hopes up. So there are boxes down below. There's some potential. Right now, let me clear all this junk out. And I forgot how noisy this one is, this place. This is the freeway right there. This freeway is always busy. But right now, uh, summer just started. You know, kids are out of school. I think it's even busier than normal. I was just on that freeway sitting in traffic, so I'm not even sure why it's flowing right now. That's good for them. It was bad for me. But anyways, let's get to clearing this junk out and see if we can do some treasure hunting. That is a black widow right there. And that guy, he's a he's a fatty. That's a fatty. Hope you saw him. I didn't want him to get back in there somewhere and me have to find him later. Ooh. That was a big old black widow. Dang. That's kind of where you'd expect him to be too. I knew when we seen all those spider webs in here there was gonna be some spiders. Heesh, those ones give me the willy nillies. The heebie jibbies. There might be some more on here too, so. I gotta be kind of careful with that. Ooh, now I got the heebie-jeebies. I, I feel them. <laughs> I can feel them on me. Uh-uh. No way. That looks nasty. Check this out. <laughs> That's. I don't want to put my hands on that. Dang. All right, now these are not the best gloves for going through stuff. You just don't have like a lot of 
fine motor skill, you know, dexterity or whatever. And these are also a little bit loose on me. They found them in the, I found them in the locker, so it'll be good enough for protecting against spiders. Gross. All right, I got my uh, chest harness on. You guys can get the first person perspective of this trunk. Are you ready? I mean, this has been kind of like one of the reasons I bought it. It's sitting right there and visible in the photos and all. And now we're about to find out. You guys ready? Please, no spiders. Okay. So far, so good. No spiders. Okay. All right. Hmm. Not so good there. Smell mothballs, which is good. There's no moths been eating anything. Oh, what is this? What is this? That is so dang cool. KCKB with a vampire Dracula image. Sportswear, quality products, medium. That is tight. Okay, that's a, well, it's a double stitch though. I'm surprised by that. It definitely looks like a single stitch. But that's an older t-shirt, so that's cool. The older towels don't really do nothing. Yeah, a couple more older towels there. Who cares? Yeah, this is cool though. Yeah, it's super cool. I'm gonna put that in the car actually because that's one thing I forgot about too is just how dirty this locker is. It's exceptionally dirty. Okay, I see I see you see some clothes in here. That's good. Okay. Mattress pad. No one cares. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is actually fantastic for the vintage market. If you watch my flea market video from last time we went, last month, the clothes were off the hook. Look how skinny that is. Somebody was extremely skinny. <laughs> that is a small waist and long, long legs. I don't see a brand on that, but that's pretty cool. That's definitely got the vintage look. I think it's gonna be well received out there. This one, Sunday's work clothes, ink. That's cool too. Oh my goodness, that is cool. That is definitely screaming 80s, screaming 80s. What size is that? I'd say large. I made in Hong Kong too. Large, yeah, right there, large. That's pretty tight, all right. Corduroy by Farrah, is that like Farrah Fawcett? <laughs> it's all discolored, unfortunately, but I will bring it, I'll bring it to the vintage market. I'll let them decide if they can get that out or not. These guys are clothing experts out there. A shower curtain, okay. <laughs> yeah, these guys are, Experts out there, they will know what they can fix and what they can't. Cogswell Tech. All right, here's another work piece, I think. P.E. Stevens, huh? It's a, it's a work uniform, size 42. Uh, that's not as cool. Definitely not as cool. Pro Celebrity. It's a vintage shirt. Again, we'll take it out. We'll let them sort it out. That is tore up, whatever that is. Look at that. That just <laughs> ripped right off Mervyn's. <laughs> it's another Pro Celebrity shirt here, polyester. And a really funky, cool belt there. A little dirty, but another Mervyn's piece. This is old stuff. This is like I think 70s or early 80s, and that is is it is really hard to find. So there's going to be some value here. I got a lot of comments about how people just could not believe we were getting 10 bucks for T-shirts, but I'll tell you what, guys. If you didn't, if you weren't already in the know, vintage clothing is one of the hottest sectors in the vintage market, and there are guys that go to these flea markets just looking for vintage clothes. This is a lot of stains and stuff spots, but this is like a I don't know velour or something is it's cool. There's some old Gap jeans, and this I'm not as impressed with, but it doesn't matter. I will still bring it out. We're going to bring all this stuff out. All this stuff's going out. All these vintage clothes. This is actually one of the best things I could probably find is vintage clothes right now because I don't have enough. Golden V, GV, Endura Press. I, again, I don't think that's anything great. So I'll put it aside. Oh, man, look at these. This guy loves these. Uh, what is this? Like, it's polyester, right? 80% cotton. 20% polyester, but what's that called? Is that velour? <laughs> Those are so cool. Oh man, look at these pants. Look at these pants. Broomsticks by Glen Oaks. Dang, those are loud. These are pretty fresh too, look at this. I don't see the brand on here, but yeah, that scream 70s. Screaming 70s. Mm, 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 these are nice too. Look at these bell bottoms on this one. This is the bottom of the pant leg right there. Look at that bell bottoms. Waistband with the drawstring, so cool. Wow, look at that suit. <laughs> Kaufman's, California. That is neat. Let's see if there's any $100 bills tucked away in the pockets here. Nope, didn't think so. There's another one, same as the beige ones. This is light blue. 
bell bottoms, drawstring. Looks very comfortable. This is all clothes. This is great. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that suit. So, yeah, nice. Oh, man. Another great, great piece there, corduroy. Oh, look at this. This is 70s, 70s, 70s. Look at the, look at the collar. This is for men. See that collar? Look how huge that collar is. Triumph of California. Dang. I'm genuinely excited about this. This is a good, good find. Oh, wow, look at this. Saki Sochi Show Chikubai. That is pretty neat. Oh my goodness, Triumph of California. That is, that's pretty amazing. That is so cool. I think we might get 20 bucks for that. I'm gonna try to get 20 bucks for that on Sunday. Something like this, oh, this one's tore. See that right there? I don't think that's, I don't think that's gonna go. And that's a robe. <laughs> Aristo robe, one size fits all. Hey, I'm, I'll take it out, we'll see what happens. <laughs> There's a ton of pants on here couple ties we'll take it we'll take it another shirt only taking it because it's vintage I don't think it's that cool there's like a members only style jacket rich man that's actually pretty cool it's a little worn see the fuzzies on there but yeah, it might have some value now that is cool Kotler look at that it's got the matching pants that is so cool that is so cool. Why do I'm, I get so excited about this stuff? I, I don't know why, but I think that's 50 bucks. I think that's 50 bucks right there. Seriously, guys. Oh, this is fun. Uh, literally, like two years ago, I never thought I'd get so excited about clothes. Woo, look at this. That's a velvet pants. <laughs> velvet pants. Yes. Yes. Oh, I see something leather right here. What is this? Golden State Leather Fashions. That is definitely cool. I mean, to me, it does say like 70 style, right? Definitely says 70 style. I think that might actually be another $50 bill right there. Uh, maybe I'm getting maybe I'm getting too far out there. I don't know, but that's what I'm thinking right at this moment. $50 at the market. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna have to figure out how to display them a little better than just throwing them on a the table. Okay, that was a great bag. He said it's probably gonna be like 80 to 90 degrees on Saturday, Sunday. I don't think it's gonna be suit weather, but still might sell. I'm not quite as impressed with these though. These are not as impressive. This is wool. It's a nice suit for the time. I don't think it's got that cool look to it though. What's this? Oh, but this one, this is, an, this is another velvet. And look at the handkerchief. That is pimping. <laughs> that is pimping. Dang, that's that's pretty pretty funny. I don't know if that's gonna sell, but I I think it's hilarious. Ooh, okay. Ooh, this one's gotten eaten up. That must have been pre mothball period. This one though, phase three. It's a leather with the sheepskin on the inside. Ooh, that looks very warm. It actually looks in pretty good condition. Uh, besides, it's like dirty all around here. That could be clean. This one, not so much. That's not fixable. What is this? These are huge. Look at that. They put a paper clip in because they're like humongous. I wonder if these are like original Adidas or something. Can't tell. The tags are all gone. That one's too far gone. Okay, what is this? Van Heusen, Windbreaker. Van Heusen, huh? That's a good brand. And this is vintage. That is a nice jacket. Very heavy. I don't know if that'll sell, but we will try. And the last one here. This looks like... Ooh, I was gonna say leather. It's denim. <laughs> oh, whoa, what is this? These are, these are, this is a onesie. That's a, that's a one piece right there. Style setter, huh? That is one piece, like a jumpsuit. Oh my goodness, that is super cool. That, guys, I think that's like 25, 30 bucks. That might be a $50 piece, but it's at least 25, 30 bucks. All right, well, that's it. That was a great, great find of course we'd rather find like a baseball card collection or comic books but you know what vintage clothes i'm i'm not complaining one iota about that that is uh that's a score two thumbs up two thumbs up all right two thumbs up 
this guys i think this is at least 500 dollars at the market on sunday if i'm right if i'm right right when i was saying a couple pieces at 50 25 30 bucks on that piece and then lots of 10 and 20 dollar bills i think we got 500 bucks here hoo -ah. seriously guys that's the best thing i think i found in this in this locker in the trunk of course not a big surprise there uh the trunks we do have a little higher expectation we expect there to be good things in the trunk not always the case but sometimes the case and this time the case if i'm able to do those numbers at the market on sunday that's gonna basically pay for a quarter of this locker that's huge <laughs> and the black widow is guarding it too <laughs> yeah that's pretty funny move that stuff over here this is the first time i ever moved this stuff the kiln was there looks pretty decent yeah i forgot about this rug right here too Whew. you see that oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah we'll take that to the vintage market too a little mouse poopies up here you might have gotten in there let's see what's in here oh man guys what is that that's jewelry right there what the heck oh i should have looked in here way way before do you see all that could there be gold in here what oh 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 now i'm happy 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 what is this oh oh yeah i don't see any markings but there could definitely be some gold in here look at this piece that's not bad that's not bad yeah we're gonna take that home and look at that a little bit closer and here's another one there could be some gold in here so far we found some jewelry in this locker everything that we found i took home and tested and i don't man it's actually been so long now i don't remember but i don't think there was any gold found a little bit of silver i did find like a silver spoon but i don't think i found any silver jewelry i don't think i can't remember now texas instruments there's an old calculator radio shack there's an old okay it works it actually looks perfect great condition what's in here you know this is gonna have to come off i can't do it i can't do it okay <laughs> stetson a little oh some stetson cologne vintage a little men's care kit right there that's not bad you know what we'll put that over there we'll take that to the market we'll take this to the market got a little market box i'll start right there whoa these are old weight belts this is very old leather weight belt strap around your arm or leg it's filled with sand it actually feels like it's filled with gravel that, that's kind of cool that's a little different it's probably a market for that it's too bad i can't see the tag on there that's different i've never found that before all right now this looks good this has got some potential right here santa clara 1830 feels light though san andreas mexico that's just a box a little old cigar box i think a little dovetail corners this is pretty fancy what's this sink y'all if i find something good that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say thank you thank you very much i think this is tubes or something testing si oh we found one of these sieves recently okay Sankyo testing sieve all right i wonder if that's got some value it looks like it's made out of brass i'm sure it was not cheap brand new oh wow look at that it's got different size meshes on each of these two very interesting i'm gonna put that aside that might actually have a little bit more value i'll we'll put that in the car we'll have to look that up i can't rush that to the market yeah i'm gonna have to look it up same with this stuff back to the car back to the car back and forth because i don't do things right okay boom first drawer open first good stuff found okay and this is heavy and i'm gonna say glass mirrors that counts too as glass all right there's mirrors top mirror tiles i think skip that for now oh now that is something please be in here that's a look at this erector set rocket launcher that's got to be good oh this is good that is really good okay all right you know what i swear this is like the kind of stuff i thought i'd find in this locker and so far it's been very very evasive like we barely found anything good the finds have been few and far between and there's been like three or four episodes this locker has not been giving it up easy all right what do we got now i'm excited this is some vintage kleenex right there <laughs> serious that's vintage kleenex 
And you know what? I'm I'm so crazy, I'm taking that to the vintage market. Why not? If for nothing else, I might need to blow my nose. Oh, I almost felt like we found some of these already, but these are brand new in the box. Paradise Lost and Other Poems by John Milton. This is like greatest novels set or something. Published by the Classics Club. Okay, 1943. Yeah, and then right here, The Iliad by Homer. Okay, not Homer Simpson to any of you who are, did, didn't pay attention in high school. That's not Homer Simpson. That is Homer. All right, kind of like Sting or Prince. This is going to be more, I think. Yes, William Shakespeare and Epictetus. Epictetus. I don't know. I, I didn't really pay attention in high school either, so you're not alone if that's one of you. Okay, uh, Plutarch in Montaigne. Okay, I'm not well read. This is why I buy storage lockers for a living. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't, uh, you know, take your education seriously. Okay, what's this? Homer! Oh, wait, the Odyssey, this is another one. And Marcus Aurelius. Oh, here, look, Classics Club. And that's from 1970, October. I was five months old when he received these books. It's pretty cool. What's in this one? I know it's books, but I mean, what books? Okay, let's see. Selected works by Cicero and Essays in New Atlantis. Francis Bacon. I wonder if that's related to Kevin Bacon. That's a really terrible joke. I'm sorry. Oh, devalued. Damaged. Hey, they didn't have a flip top on that side. It wasn't, it wasn't my fault entirely. We take, we take it home. We take it home. No, do we take it home? I don't know. Do we take it home? Now let's take it to the market. To heck with it. I've not had too much luck with books. Five dollars a box. If it sells fast, then I know it was worth more. Oh, dusty. Dusty. What's this? It says it's perfect. See that? That is perfect right there. Model 802. What are they talking about? Perfect. Yeah, it's not perfectly packed. It's actually kind of messed up here. That's a perfect. Scissors. Ooh. Japan. It looks like uh, Bakelite. Oh. A little microscope that's what it is a little microscope well and then it's got some glass slides and stuff in there a couple whoa whoa hang on a sec i'll cut myself on these pieces of glass in here but oh we got some coins yo we got some coins we gotta get these coins out that's definitely not getting sold not with this microscope i mean oh look at this this one right here says contour feather and this one right here says butterfly the one that's on there there says oleaster all right, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's definitely going to the vintage market. Hopefully, I don't sell it too cheap. I'm gonna look that up real quick. But first, let's look at these coins. We got some wheat pennies here. A couple wheat pennies. Here's a newer one. Another wheat penny. There's a wheat penny. I think that's a steel one. It's in bad shape. Well, what is this? United States of America. What the heck is that? What is this? 1893. What is this? World's Columbian Exposition of Chicago. Ah, I, you got me. You got me. I don't know what that is. It's old. It's 125 years old. All right, I only I only see one of those microscopes having sold recently. 56 bucks. It looks like it's got instruction book stuff too. Um, in the box, original cardboard. It looks like, but 56 bucks. Okay, so we're not talking about hundreds of dollars, but we are talking about uh, more than five dollars. That's for sure. Oh, next box sounds like glass. Yep. Oh, this is more of those, uh, ah, dang it, this one's broke. i make sure I don't have any glass in here. I don't, don't want somebody to cut their hands at the flea market, but it does look like a little bit more of the scientific type stuff. There's another broken piece right there, too. Dang it. I wish you wouldn't put that stuff in there. Mm -mm. All right, but the other stuff, eh, I didn't sell it for all that much. I probably let it go too cheap. I know it did have some value, though. Here's an old Pyrex beaker right there. This will go to the market, to the vintage market. There is some value in that stuff. There is. It's interesting that only the bottom drawer has dust on it. The other ones are pretty clean. This is an old iron. <laughs> Look, it's like brand new too, an old iron. That's new old stock right there. General Electric F63. There's some old contact paper right here. So what's that for? Is that for like lining the drawers? There actually might be some value in this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, people buy funny stuff, I'm telling you. They buy funny stuff at these vintage markets. Vintage aluminum foil. I don't think that's could that possibly have any value at all besides 25 square feet of aluminum foil. I don't think so. I don't think the vintage really matters on that, but they definitely haven't gone bad. 
that's got to go to a flea market just maybe not the vintage market all right well that was the that was the bottom drawer there now let's start working up here let's see what we got up here it's quite heavy it's quite heavy okay we got some wire oh man got a lot of chemicals and something's busted out right here this bottle right here see that I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually busted its seam and the stuff is... See that? That's Ky Kymax. So I think comparable to the Pyrex. I don't know. I don't really want to go through it. Ooh, there's a good one. I don't want to go to it too much with the chemicals in there. There's a piece of copper right there. Alright, that one wasn't so good. We don't like the chemicals. Next box. Books and notes. Books and notes. I think it's accurate. Let's see what's back here. Please, no black widows dropping on my head. That would not be good. Very dusty. Ooh. Okay. Um, little bulbs, and here's a uh, aluminum film canister. Those are kind of cool. I like that. This is. Huh. You want some dice? This is an interesting little box right here. You got a little money clip with a knife. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It's made in the USA Imperial. That's actually kind of neat. Okay. What is this? Another cigar box. Uh-oh. This is... This is... I don't know. I don't want to say it's a little better because it's a little early for that, but... Yeah, this is not better. Quartzmatic. <laughs> a very old digital watch. That's kind of neat. And we found these before. This is a scale. Hang that piece and then this right here you clip onto like a bag or something. And that's your little scale right there. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, Virginia Slim's Little Black Book. Hmm, that's cool. It's all good flea market stuff. Okay, what else we got in here? Junk mail, junk mail, junk mail. A lot of these shelf pins. And what's in this? And what type of seeds those are? Do you guys know what type of seeds those are? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments below. All right. Let's get this semi-heavy box right here. Oh, there we go. That's part of the reason why it's heavy. Good thing that didn't fall on my toe. Ooh yes. Ooh, that's actually really sharp. Okay. All right. All right. This is a Pyrex lab glass. Another box of this stuff. And this is... Good. I, we, so we brought a whole box of this out last time, and I think I sold the whole box for 20 bucks. Not, not great. Not great. Here we have another chance. <laughs> we have another chance. Yeah, there's a bunch of glass in there too. That looks really expensive. Kymax. Man, this stuff it can be very expensive. It really can be. But am I going to list all this stuff? No, I'm not. I'll bring it back to the vintage market. It didn't seem like I got a lot of attention on it. Maybe I need to display it better. Honestly, guys, I think that box, that glassware, could be hundreds of dollars. But the problem is, listing it and shipping it, difficult with the breakables. Okay, what do we got here? Books, H.G. Wells, how to make home electricity from wind. Okay. Yeah, it's just all books. <clears throat> That's heavy. Yeah. That's what this is. Some Sports Illustrated. Man, uh, this is not... This is all recycled. Okay, what's going on here, guys? All of a sudden, we're getting back to really normal stuff. There's a little bit more glassware in here. Okay, we'll put that aside. That's good. It's very delicate, though. I liked, I liked what was down here. I'm not liking up here so much. Broken glass right on top there. You gotta be really careful with that. That's different. Little stained glass pieces, I guess. Cookbooks. A couple of brass candlesticks. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Yes. Look at that, a whole bunch of pennies. I don't see any wheat pennies, but that's good. Wasn't expecting that. Broken sunglasses. Was kind of expecting that. Oh, whoa. This is a metal. A metal cannon, Premier. 
1100 by 20. That is something different. I wonder if this is a real firing cannon. Could that be? I'm gonna have to look that up. That's actually really neat. And there's an old pair of scissors. It's kind of funny because I was just saying like, oh, come on, you know, we there's a melted candle. It actually looks like a carrot melted. Oh, whoa. There's a little, I think a Star Wars guy. LFJ 1983. That's cool. I was just saying how I was like, oh man, what's happening? All of a sudden we're losing our stuff. It's a good, a good roll there. And then all of a sudden went to books. Okay, there's a little pipe. A little pipage. A little toot toot. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. See that? That looks like it's for marijuana, but that's this is something different. There's some more seeds. Oh, what could those seeds be for? Hmm? 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 Another pipe. That doesn't look like a marijuana pipe right there. And look at this. More seeds. More seeds. And this right here, this is not good. This and the razor blades. Uh-uh. That's for something different. That's for naughty right there. That's for naughty. What's this? Oh, man. Look at this, you guys. This thing wrapped up in paper, but look at this. Heck yes more change that's fantastic now we're talking now this is what we like about orders this stuff there's a little prism all right i am reinvigorated now we're finding some decent stuff i don't know about that it's interesting oh yeah we found one one book that was kind of in, women in the comics looks older okay we'll bring that out to the vintage market that's worthy we got some screeching and honking out there. Sounds like things are getting crazy on the freeway. Oh, that's neat too with the gold rim. Okay, we'll bring that. At this point, I got room in my van. I want more stuff, so I'll be a little less picky. There's a, the matching piece right there. I'll be a little less picky. I want more stuff to go. You gotta maximize this trip. There's another one. But this one doesn't have the change in there. Oh, this made in Japan right here. Okay, that's cool. You know what? I'm kidding. Eh. We got this on this thing right here, but it's very top heavy. I think I'm gonna get that off first. Yeah. See that? <laughs> I don't want that crashing down on my head. Cedar wall applique. That's kind of neat. Look at the top. You can't even see. It's covered in dust. It looks like a solid color, but it's not. That's just dust. There's some catalogs up here for some kind of company very dirty up there what company catalogs introduction to basic programming what's this checks no that's not checks okay we're gonna have to go through that probably should have put these on before grabbing all those dirty boxes don't oh my goodness do you see that spider in there? Dead, thankfully. That is huge. Seriously, look at the size of that spider. That's crazy. I'm so glad I didn't meet him alive. Hopefully his uh, descendants aren't in here somewhere. You will hear me scream. <laughs> That's it for the top shelf here. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. This is be beads. Look at all these little, oh geez, here's a razor blade. Mm -mm, don't want that. All these beads. This is that is something else right here. And that's random. There's a the nail. Okay, bedazzled, bedazzled beads and strings and stuff. Okay, that's actually kind of neat. Put that aside. This is an interesting little junk box. <laughs> Very random. There's a nice pair of scissors there. I know there's some people that collect scissors, so. I'll put those aside. Oh wow, look at this. Hewer. It's like a stopwatch or something. Yeah, that's neat. It's different. A couple neat things in there. Okay, what's in here? Let's see. I almost thought that was a cuckoo clock when I first picked it up. Definitely different. Oh man, just junky junky junkage. Bummer. That's what it is more miscellaneous stuff okay now I'm scared when those big spiders gonna jump out at me all right that's just all garbage 
And, hmm. This is miscellaneous parts and stuff for little motors. Alright, this is not looking too good. And a movie projector, but I think it's just a box. It feels light. It's extremely light. There's no motor in here. Oh, it looks like it's hand cranked. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm actually gonna take that to the vintage market. That's, hmm, that's neat. Hand operated, yeah. Next box. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Little coasters. Yeah, look at these. Color craft, huh? Oh, there's a Pyrex bowl right there. That's kind of neat. We'll take that. This, I don't know. This, nope, it's broke. That's good. The cork right there. Oh, that goes to that. Actually, that's kind of neat, isn't it? Is that for a lab? I don't know. There's some matching plates to that stuff here. This is well worn right there, this color craft, but that is definitely vintage and there might be a market for it. We're going to find out on Sunday. Look at this. <laughs> There's a little tin foil and corningware. Old corningware. I'll take that too. Like I said, we really need more stuff. I need more stuff for the market, so I'm being a little less discretionary than I usually am. Those are kind of cool. Definitely have a 70s look to them. We'll take them. Last but not least, we got this old toaster. Alright, next box. Oh! Right on top, look at that. A little butterfly, what do you call it, terranium? I don't know what you call it. I don't know if that's the right word, but eh, it's kind of cool. The but butterfly's got a torn wing right there, but it still might have a little bit of value. Oh, oh, I didn't even see this. Looking right at the stuff on top. Revel F14 Tomcat. Let's see what this is. You know what, this is taped closed. I wonder if that's brand new. Um, it looks brand new. Cable view, wow. I think I remember this, 1984, I think they gave you this to you, to, if you subscribe to cable, which very few people did, this was like a TV guide for cable. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we got some records, but oh man, look at that record. It's all warped. So much weight was on this box. Temptation. So we found a lot of records in this, if you remember back in the beginning. But they were thrashed. They were left out. And th actually, this one looks really nice. Okay, so there's some warped ones, but there's some okay ones there too. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just heard something good. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, man. We're finding more money? Yeah. Pennies. They're not wheat pennies, but there's a ton of them. Oh, this is good. That, that's one thing this was lack, lacking. Quarter units have money, and we had not found any Schneider. Even though it's just change. Oh, that's kind of neat. This is for what, a telescope or something? Even though it's not like uh, cash bills or nothing. Hopefully there wasn't, because I missed it if there was. Look at that. A little mortar, mortar and pestle. USA. Coors USA 520-0. That's nice. And then we have some albums. Yeah, even though we didn't find... Oh, and we have some more foreign money. Wait, I said more foreign money, but we didn't find foreign money, did we? I think that was in a different locker. I found some foreign money. And what do we got here? George Benson, Norman Connors, Rufus, featuring Shaka Khan, Blackbird, Donald Bird, Daryl Hall and John Oates, Abandoned Luncheonette. That's pretty cool. There might be a little value there, I don't know. Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Quincy Jones, Idris Muhammad, The Main Ingredient, Thelma Houston, another Rufus. Okay, that's a decent stuff. Decent, decent. Okay, that will not go to the flea market because people love records and we sell a lot of them in our Monday night auctions. And if you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about, here's the deal. We do a live auction on our YouTube channel every Monday night, 5 p.m. Pacific, 
and that's where you can buy some of the better stuff that we find of course some of the stuff i'm finding here i'll take it to the vintage market because that is in just a few days like before you even see this video we'll be at the vintage market but some of the better stuff that we find we'll lot up and put in our live auction and you guys can buy it if you're seeing stuff that you like that's where you can buy it but yeah don't forget this don't forget that heavy little can of pennies basically everything i'm putting in here is either stuff that go into our live auctions or on ebay okay except for the phone i've got a buyer for that this is heavy whatever it is and what is it some kind of a blower what is this the looks kind of cool actually there's a little timer what is this i don't know what that is it is really heavy that's pretty heavy too what's that par instruments p-a-r-r -R. that is probably something very expensive whatever it is and then what's this superior electric company power step variable transformer huh. i don't know it looks heck expensive though i don't know about this stuff guys I, I think i'm gonna have to look up some of this stuff i have a feeling maybe this maybe this has something to do with the kiln uh this is for this is for a lab this this goes on a, a post right here and you put like a you know a vial or something on here a glass piece the bunsen burner underneath and but this blower right here i have a feeling it has to do maybe it's with that kiln could very well be some of that could be worth some money so i'm gonna put this in the car we'll have to look that up that par stuff p-a-r-r -R, that could be that can sometimes be very expensive old kitchen stuff here not this though that's a pyrex piece right here it says pyrex 19 it says and what about this that's kind of neat that's an old teapot <laughs> that's neat all right we'll take that we'll take that what the heck there's marbles in the bottom of this why is there marbles down here though it's an old can opener and another marble pretty good sized box here in it it's heavy i think it's gonna be paper books just based on the weight let's see yep yep all books okay all right guys i'm gonna i'm gonna cap it there all right we've been here for probably a couple hours found some actually really good stuff i'm i'm surprised i'm pleasantly surprised if we did indeed find 500 dollars in clothes then i'd say probably today we maybe pulled out i don't know between 750 to a thousand dollars worth of stuff i'd say and i'm saying that because i know i'm going to get good prices at this market and we found some change and stuff we've got some value here coming out today hallelujah right hallelujah been through this whole section right here it's great went through that trunk um the, the the trash piles are just stacking up like just look around here there's just trash piles everywhere i gotta organize that stuff on the truck i got a bunch of stuff here i gotta drag back in but uh anywho i got a little bit more work to do here i'll do that off camera uh, these wheels oh you know what let me show you those wheels hang on a second okay these wheels right here these um i've gotten a lot of comments on these no uh cap right here to show you what it is but i've had a lot of people saying that these look like 914 rims porsche 914 that's what they appear to be and if so they're worth that these are actually worth some money this is going to recoup some of our costs in this locker because we do have some significant costs in this locker so yeah those won't go to the vintage market we'll find another buyer for those but this these will be easy to sell we got one two three four five a full set with the spare that's a good find i need to get those on the truck it might be next trip i don't know i'll try to see if i can squeeze them on at the end i got a couple more things in here i want to bring like this old camera right here we showed that before it's just a neat piece there's a little bit of stereo stuff here that i'm gonna throw on some cbs and a, a few things that i'm gonna throw on just because like i said i do have the space all right but like i said i'm gonna do that off camera for now this video is a wrap thank you guys so much for coming back to this i almost say great locker thanks for coming back to this locker <laughs> and going on in this adventure with me i'll tell you this one is definitely one to remember even though they're up till today there really weren't that many great finds uh today we found some cool stuff we did and there still might be stuff back here right did i even show you that look at this okay there's a kirby vacuum box okay 
maybe there's one in there there's still a lot of boxes it looks like a big flat screen back there but there's still a lot of boxes tucked away here and who knows maybe this is his best stuff some mattresses here looks like maybe something behind it we're gonna have to find out we'll do that in the next episode not the next next episode most likely but in a future episode but until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on logging it So Phil Shea, pro skater, early 90s all the way to the late 90s, passed away, super positive, solid dude. Rode for Think, rode for Spitfire, probably independent, a couple other really well-recognized brands. Um, just a solid dude. We got a skate park dedicated for him in Scotts Valley. It's a really awesome, That's so awesome cool. place.